differentiating, defining the derivative. Okay, that's what this notation means here. It means find the what? Derivative. Okay, so if you ever see d over dx of something, that means find the derivative of that something. So if we end up with something that looks like this, well, what do we do? We said n times the number in front, which is the 1, x to the n, what would I do to that power? Minus 1. Okay, so this is the rule for finding the derivative of anything in this particular form. Pretty easy? Yeah? All right. Ready to do some examples? Yeah. Oh, bring it. Ready to bring it? Yeah. Oh, it'll be brought. It will be brought. You're freaking out with the rationals? Good. So that's why we got to do examples so we can practice. There are different situations that can occur. Okay? I don't know that. So here we go. Yes, you do. So what are they asking us to find? Find the derivative, right? Now, be careful. It says leave your answers with no negative or rational what? Exponents and as a single what? Rational function. What does that mean? Well, I cannot have negative exponents. I cannot have exponents that are fractions. And my final answer can only be one fraction. One thing over one thing. I can't have a fraction plus another fraction. I gotta get a common denominator and make it one fraction. Understand? So here we go. Let's look at this first one. Okay, before I can work it out, I need to put it in polynomial form, so I need to rewrite it. So what would it become? Thank you. 2x to the negative 2 minus 4x to the third. I don't have to mess with that one. That one's good to go. Okay, we're ready to find the derivative using the new rule that we learned? Let's do it. Okay, what's my derivative going to be? Negative 4x to the negative 3 minus 12x to the second. Awesome, so we got the derivative, now I need to fix it. I need to make it look like they want me to make it look like. So they don't want negative exponents, and I got a negative one there. So what do I do with it? Send it down. So now I have negative 4 over x to the third minus 12x squared. Okay? Do I still have a problem, though? Mm -hmm. Yes. What's the problem? One single fraction. So how do I make it be one single fraction? Common denominator, right? So what do you think the common denominator would be? Can I make this one a 1 or can I make this one an x to the third? I can make this an x to the third, right? Just like when we were doing fractions and we had like 2 over 3 plus 1 over 6, right? I didn't have to do 6 times 3 all the time. I could just say, I'm going to make this one a what? A 6 by multiplying it by 2 and I multiply the top by 2 as well. It's the same idea here, except it's not a number, it's a variable, right? So, I can make this an x to the third by multiplying it by x to the third. And as long as I do it to the top as well, it's like if I were multiplying by 1. Good? So, what's my common denominator now? Next to the third. On the top, I'm going to have negative 4 minus 12x to the what? Fifth. How did I get 5? When you multiply, add the exponents. Good? All right. Is everybody happy now? Yes. I don't have any negative powers. I don't have any rational powers. And it's one single fraction. Beautiful? I love math. I love it too. All right. Let's try another one. How would we attack this one? Polynomial form, yes. Send the x to the top? Or you could just factor out. Or you could just factor out an x? Yeah. What do you guys want to do? There's more than one way to solve that. Factor out an x? All right, so let's take out an x. What are we left with? 3x to the third? Minus 3x? Minus 2, okay. So does this x cancel out now? 
What does that mean? There's a hole where? Zero. At zero, right? There's a hole at zero. Okay. So what's my original function now? 3x to the third minus 3x minus 2. Can we get our derivative? Yeah. Let's go really quick. 9x squared, squared. squared. Mm -hmm. minus 3. Oh my god, that's so much faster than doing the definition of derivative. Imagine doing the, the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x over h as h approaches 0 on this guy. That would be so much fun. No, I'd rather do the other way. You'd rather do it the other way? It's a long way? You can back. Back. Okay. No. We can go back if you want and keep practicing some more. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. <coughs> Let's try some more. How would we do this one? Factor? It's already factored. Oh, no, like... Like Make it long? Oil. 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 Expand it, right? Yeah. 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 It's expanded, right? Okay, so how many things can we multiply at one time? Just two, right? So we can only multiply two factors at one time. So let's do it. X times X. X squared. X times two. Two X. Two X. And then we use the three. Three times X. Three, three times two. Six. Well, that gives me how much here? 5x. 5x. Now I want all of that times 2x plus 1. Yes? yes. Let's do it. x squared times 2x. 2x, 2x, 2x to the third. x squared times 1. x squared. So we're done with the x squared. Now let's do the, two, the 5x, right? 5x times 2x. 10x squared. 5x times 1. Okay, now let's use the 6. 6 times 2x. 12x. 6 times 1? 6. Okay, so that's a combined like terms. And what would we end up with? 2x to the third plus 11x squared plus 17x plus. Six. Have we taken the derivative yet? No. no. All I did was rewrite the function, right? What's my derivative going to be? Quick. 6x six 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 squared. 22x. 22x. Faster. Plus 17. Plus 6? No. Nope. no, why not? Constant. Derivative of a constant is? Zero. Zero. Beautiful. Super easy? All right. Let's try another one. More practice, okay? Different variations. How about right. this one? Good. <laughs> Put it up there? Yes. All right, let's try that. Let's do it. No. Yes. So you want to send this guy up here? Yeah. So that makes it be all of this times x to the what? Negative 5? All right, so let's try that. So x to the negative 5 times x to the third. What's the rule? When you multiply... You add the exponent, so what's 3 plus negative 5? Okay. x to the negative 5 times this guy, that gives me negative 5 x to the what? <coughs> negative 3. Okay, that was cool, that was easy. Good job, Axel, that was a good move. The other class didn't do it like that, but... No, the other class. It's okay. What did the other class do? Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Yes. So, can we get the derivative of this guy now? Yes. All right, let's do it. What's my derivative? Negative 2x, negative 2x to the negative 3 plus 15x to the negative 4. Not 2? Why is it not 2? You're taking away 1 from a negative, so it's becoming more negative, right? Not less negative. <laughs> Even though that's what we want in this world. Less negativity. Are we done though? No. Why not? <laughs> oh, a negative exponents. Okay, so let's fix it. So what would it, what would it become? Negative 2 over x to the third plus 15 over 
X to the fourth. Oh man, I got two fractions. We're not done. So we need a common denominator, right? Yeah. Okay. So what? What? What can I make? Which one can I make look like the other? X to the third. X to the third. How can I make this an X to the fourth? Times an X. Beautiful. Times an X on the top. So now my common denominator will be X to the fourth. What would I get over here? Negative two X plus. Now am I happy? Yes. yes. You with me, Sasa? Yeah, I just feel like there's something more. There's something more? You want to go further? No. No, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, we can stop then. <laughs> you broke your hand? Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, fine. Okay, good. No, it didn't even hurt yesterday. I thought it was cool. Like I wanted to see. Yeah. And yes was freaking out. He was gonna vomit already. Oh yeah, that was pretty gross. It was better when the blood came out, right? When you when you get it, it pierced my skin and then it broke my nail. It does work because it's not. Yes, it helped a lot. So it doesn't out. It just pops. All right, so let's keep going. We're running out of time and we've got more examples to do. Hey guys, look. She is, yeah. Yeah, she's got more examples to do. She's good. She's gonna beat Angel though. But she comes to practice and Angel doesn't. <laughs> yeah. All right, anyways, come on, let's go. Focus. Concentrate all your strength at a particular vital point at one instance. All right. So, what is this guy going to become? 3x over? x to the 2 over 3. Okay. And now, what do we want to do? Take it to the top where the party never stops. Okay. So now we have 3x times x to the negative 2 thirds. And what will that become? That becomes 3x to the what? 1 third? Right, because this was a 1, which is really 3 over 3, right? So 3 take away 2 is 1. Are we okay? All right. Let's get the derivative. What's it going to be? 1x. One. One We're going to take away how much? 3 over 3. So we get negative what? 2 over 3. Oh, man. Negative exponents. So send it to the bottom. So 1 over x to the 2 thirds. Ah, oh, rational exponents. <laughs> So 1 over the cube root of x squared. It's easier for me when I plug in a number to think of it like this than to see it like this. If I, if I have to plug in a 2, I want the slope at 2, I put the 2 in there, what's 2 to the 2 over 3? I don't know. It's easier for me to think of it as the cube root of 2 squared, right? Okay, so that's why I'm training you to go that far. Good? Yes. Alright, one more. Much training. Yes, this is training. Want to be get your calculus black belt? Okay? That's how you get the black belt, by getting a 5 on the AP test. If you get a 4, then you're only a second thing for brown belt. If you get a 3, you're a third degree brown belt. You get a five, you get the black belt, okay? We'll have a ceremony and everything. Holy shit. You don't get the results till July. I'm going to walk into the black belt. Oh, that's good. Let's go. We can be calculus ninjas. With our shirts and says, holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Look at those last two. All right, there we go. Are we ready? 
Is this one ready to get the derivative already? Yeah. Oh, okay, so then I'm going to put f prime, okay? So let's do it. What's 3 fourths times negative 4? 3. Negative 3. x to the what power? Negative 1. We're taking away 4 over 4. Negative 1 fourth. Plus 1 fourth times 2. That's 2 fourths, right? What's 2 over 4? 1 over 2. Half. X, take away 4 over 4 again. Negative 3 over 4. Are we good? Now we just need to do some beautification. So what would it become? I love math. I know, that's yes. the question. That was the real question. <laughs> <laughs> Negative 3 over X to the 1 fourth plus. 1 over 2 times x to the 3 over 4. Orale. Two fractions. Oh man, we need one fraction. Caracol. Caracol. How do I make it one fraction? Common denominator, right? So, can I make this guy look like this one? Yes. By adding how much? 2 over 4, right? So we're going to add, we're going to multiply by x to the 2 fourths and times x to the 2 fourths. Is that it? There's also a 2, right? So I also need to multiply by 2. Instead of 2x, instead of x to the 2 fourths, it's 2x. Oh, right?